Okay, now let's see the case when we have uh, also three power supplies, but with different polarity. So look at this, uh, you have 10 volts, negative, positive. And so the 10 volts is considered positive because when you go this way, the positive sign is on the top. So you leap with a positive sign. Then you go here, you arrive with a negative and you leave the node or the power supply with a positive. So B2 is positive. Then you keep traveling this way and you enter with negative, but you leave with positive. So B3 is positive. That's why you have, you have B1 plus B2 plus B3. So you're not subtracting because you found that the positive is right here and the positive is right there. So this is equivalent to having three power supplies or three batteries in series with the correct polarity. And so the total voltage is the sum of three voltages that I have here and it is 15 volts. The total current for this circuit is 15 divided by the total resistance, and we can see 10 plus 50 is 60 ohms. So we have 0 0.25 amps. Now BR1, the voltage across resistor one, or the voltage drop across resistor one, is equal to IR. In this case, the first resistor, I times R1, as you can see there, I times R1. And the voltage here is the current times the second resistor. So we do those products, 0.25 times 10 ohms is 2.5 volts, 0.25 amps times 50 ohms is 12.5. And if you add them, you get 15 volts. And 15 volts is the voltages across both resistors. The sum of, those, of these two voltages must be equal to the total voltage we determine with the algebraic subtraction. In this case, with the algebraic addition of the power supplies. Okay, thank you.